Hi everybody, this is Boom1950. It is said that the Travis Scott X Air Jordan 1 Low OG Medium Olive is set to release in spring, 2025. Following the fall 2024 debut of the Black Olive pair, this drop strengthens the ongoing collaboration between Travis Scott and Jordan brand. Last year Travis Scott Olive sold out instantly and they're going for a pretty hefty amount on the secondary market. So today I will show you a quick look at the newest batch of this sneaker, and together with the components as well. Every time a new colorway comes out, it is definitely our first priority. I think this colorway is awesome. Retaining its iconic design, the shoe boasts an olive foundation complemented by sail overlays and reverse black swoosh logos. It's just in time for the spring and summer season. The overall shape is really nice. It has a perfect toe box. Not too fat or too chunk, just got the classic Jordan 1 low shape. This circle is a soft beige leather, very high quality, varies from those cheap leather. Cheap leather usually stiff and feels like some kind of plastic. This piece cut may be seen more intuitive. It's soft and finely textured. In the middle is the typical suede material. When brushing out, you can see the clear suede effect. This piece is for here. From this angle, you can easily see that the holes were punched cleanly and neatly. Outer side, here's the signature check swoosh. It's not suede material, but a piece black lychee leather. This leather feels different from the white part. The texture is more clearer, but soft as well. The edges are black stitches. It is at the perfect position, not too high or too low. We all know Nike doesn't have a very good quality control. Sometimes the two sides can be asymmetrical, but you can see, these two are exactly the same. Inner side is also the black swoosh. And the Cactus Jack logo underneath. It has a small portion blocked by the swoosh. The full pattern looks like this. Moving to the tongue. It's a regular Jordan 1 tongue. All in olive green. It got a white tag with a red Nike Air embroidery on it. It looks absolutely perfect font. On the side is a sail color with an olive Cactus Jack logo. All the letters are nice and clean. The tag shape is exactly how it should be. The midsole is perfect, not overly yellow. It's got the nice sail color. Bottom's got a olive green paint line. Look, how clear that paint line is perfectly straight. Take a look at the details in the midsole. If you look up close, you could see the small little details that get correct, just like the retail. It got a nice sail stitched through the midsole. And it comes with the stars in the front. Then we will take a look at the sole. A regular Jordan 1 sole in olive green color. When close enough, you can see all the details. Nike logo here. It's not too squishy. When pressing, it's not bending, which is exactly many people want. Then let's take a look at the back. It has beautiful heel shape. Very very clean. On the right shoe is the Jordan wing logo. Each character is embroidered correctly and clearly. On the left shoe is the signature smile face. Also embroidered perfectly. Around the ankle, here is not too much padding. Which means the overall shoe is quite light and ventilated, suitable for most hot weather. The starter kit is the flat white wax shoelace. And it also comes with three extra shoelaces. So there's just become more options for pairing. In general, this is another awesome pair of Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low. Do you like it? Okay, that's all for today's update, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't hesitate to leave me a comment if you have any interest. See you next time, bye.